in your iPad since you'll be we'll be doing our voices through here, but it looks like we got a couple seconds. All right. So we got a couple seconds. All right. All right. Looks like we're live. So welcome, everyone, and thanks for joining us for the second edition of Instat's Ice Hockey Webinar Series. If you missed last week's webinar with Stavanger Oilers uh, video coach Lubos Pizar, be sure to check out the Instat Hockey or the Instat Sport uh, YouTube channel to, ch to, uh, to view last week's webinar. Uh, my name is Ed Palumbo, your Instat representative for today, and I'm joined by Matt Thomas, head coach of the ECHL's Cincinnati Cyclones. Matt, thanks for joining us. How are you today? Yeah, I'm good. Thanks for having me, Ed. Good, good, good. So we want to give people a few minutes to join. Um, and just uh, as a side note here, you know, understanding the current situation worldwide, we want to thank everyone for, for their time and uh, wish you all good health and safety these days. Uh, as we wait, I don't want anyone to miss out on what Matt has to present you on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get us started with a quick uh, display of what Instat has to offer on our platform. And I'm sure some of you who have joined us are seeing Instat for the very first time, or maybe you're joining us for a quick refresher on the Instat platform. So what we'll do uh, before Matt gets into his own personal use of the Instat platform uh, regarding scouting and player development I'm just going to start sharing my screen here in a second and just do a quick preview of the Instat platform. So should be able to see my screen now. All right. Okay, so um, this is the homepage for Instat. So <clears throat> when you log in for the very first time, it'll always take you to this page. Uh, very simple page, what you can do from here you can search for any player name or team name in our database. Just start typing in names. So if we wanted to look up uh, the soon to be probably first overall pick of the NHL draft, you can start typing last name or first name. The list will pop populate and don't hit enter. Just let the list populate. You'll be able to choose the uh, player here or the team. Your recently visited pages will be down here for easy access to those. And down in the right hand corner of the screen, is a, a green Instat technical support button, which you can click in case you have any issues with the platform, if anything from a technical standpoint um, needs to be fixed, or if any statistics are wrong, then you can reach out to technical support and they'll help you out. Just a quick chat, they usually respond within a minute or so, and they are available 24 seven. So we'll get started here. I'm just gonna go to Matt's team page, the Cincinnati Cyclones. And from Matt's team page, here's all the data and the charts that show up when you enter any team or player page. The data will always default to the last 10 games. You can change that. So if you wanna see last three, last five, all games of current season, or you can pick and choose which games you want to see as well from the season itself. All your box score data is here. So you can check out goals, penalties, so on and so forth. All of this data is actually a clickable video playlist as well. So if you wanted to see your three goals, Matt's three goals against Toledo Walleye, you would just click the three and a video playlist will show up of those three goals. I'm going to let Matt take over at that point to, uh, to show you the playlist itself. But for now, just stay on this page. The tables over here, you have playtime phases. So play in the neutral zone, offensive zone, and defensive zone. So you could view the time and the videos for those. Power play and shorthanded, passing statistics, challenges and interceptions, giveaways and takeaways, and also challenges. Our company defines a challenge as any one-on-one -on -one battle to a loose puck. The blocked shots are also in this table here. Again, giveaways and takeaway data here, zone entries and breakouts, and face-offs by zone, so on and so forth. We have shots as well. So face-offs by zone, just to 
show you the data and the playlist for faceoffs by zone are easiest to access down here. But you can also view the faceoff chart <clears throat> over here on the left hand side. So you can view the faceoffs by spot on the ice over here, the percentages. With these charts, you can also choose specific players. So if you wanted to see Ben Johnson's faceoffs, you could. So if I click on Ben Johnson, there we go. Here's Brady Vale's faceoffs. You can even choose the opponent situations. So power play and shorthanded situations and periods as well. And as you can see, when I click on any of these, the playlist up here changes as well. So you can view all 170 faceoffs that Ben Johnson was involved in in the last 10 games. Same thing with the shot chart. Very intuitive shot chart here. All the shots over the last 10 games, a 300, yeah, 572 video playlist over here. Um, if you wanted to see, you can hover over each shot to show the details of the shot. The black dots are going to be shots on goal. The black X's are either going to be blocked shots or missed shots. So just hover over and you can view the data based on whether it's blocked or missed, who took the shot and the opponent. And then the red G is obviously a goal scored. If there were any blue S's on that page, on this page here, it would be a shootout attempt. You can change some of this data here. So if you wanted to view the zones, these are all attempted shots from certain areas of the ice and the percentage of them being you can view your opponent's shots as well by clicking down here and, and clicking shots against. As you can see, the table changes, the playlist changes as well. I'm going to leave it at shots four. And then spots on ice. These are the spots on ice. You can also view the spots in goal. So all the shots on goal, including goals and shots on goal. And then last thing, you can also select certain areas. So if you're a coach and you're wondering why aren't we scoring any goals from the right side of the point, you can actually highlight all these dots here and it'll bring up a playlist of 47 shots. So all very intuitive, helpful information to click through. Last thing to show you before Matt takes over, over here, these tabs are your best way to view specific statistics and data. You can click on video summaries. And video summaries will, are these are all pre-made playlists that you can click through to view playlists. So if you wanted to see all your face-offs in a game, you can choose all one or lost face-offs, and it creates a playlist. Same with giveaways and takeaways, different you know situations. So under pressure, without pressure, neutral zone, defensive zone, offensive zone, so on and so forth. We were on the games tab earlier. I'm going to move over to skaters. On the skaters tab, you have your individual player data, time on ice, shifts, scoring chances included. You can see the averages over the last 10 games, or you can view the totals. You can also click on a player page. So if I wanted to click on this player here and view his player page, you would view his statistics over all games of the current season. Most player pages will default to the all games of current season. You can change that as well by clicking on this tab. All right, and as you can see, each game, each statistic, all his shifts and time on ice and statistics. So I'm gonna go back here. Same thing with the goalies, goalie page, good for pre-scouting your upcoming opponent, or maybe even just uh, if you're a goaltending coach, you can do some work with your goalies. So Uko, Uko Pekka Lukanen, if you wanna check out his page, you got the player profile and his face is in the face mask, which I always find to be absolutely hilarious. And once his data shows up here, here we go. So we have all the shots that Uko Pekalukanen has faced over the course of an entire season, all the statistics on the right-hand side. And you can click through, you know, if you wanted to see standing position saves, um, slap shot or rebound shots, you can choose that opponents taking shots on the goalie himself and periods as well. Different, all different situations to help you uh, develop your goaltenders as well as pre-scout opposing, upcoming opposing goaltenders. So last thing to show you, basic lines, you can view all the line combinations. So if you wanted to view 
statistics based on every combination of five players on the ice. You can click on basic lines. And once this shows up here, my internet's a bit slow. I'm in a very busy neighborhood. So basic lines will show you every combination of five players that step on the ice at one time. There we go. You can view the total time on ice, average time on ice. Good way to pre-scout um, upcoming opponents. If you wanted to view their power play, you could do that. Or work on your own power play, you could do that. So if I click on power play lines, just find the line combination that has the most time on ice. That's probably the combination of guys you want to scout uh, for your upcoming game against your opponent. So just a quick overview of uh, the Instat platform. Matt is going to discuss scouting and player development now. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen and let Matt take over. So Matt, whenever you're ready. All right. Thanks a lot. Okay. Um, so same way that Ed talked about, you, you get into your homepage when you log in and you get your opportunity. The first area that I'm going to cover is uh, scouting a player. So one of the unique uh, tools that Instat provides is the opportunity to go through and, and, and take out a look at your opportunity to look at your um, different players. So again, you can type players' names in here. You can, if you wanted Wayne Gretzky, you start typing Wayne Gretzky. For me, I'm going to do the Hobie Baker Award uh, winner, and that's uh, Scott Perunovic. Recently just signed a contract with the St. Louis Blues. He's already um, loaded in my uh, search history, so I'll just click on him, and this is going to populate uh, Scott's entire page within Instat. And one of the really unique things is, and you, and you kind of saw Ed as he went through it, is you've got a, a lot of opportunity to get to information in different ways. Up here, you're going to have, again, when, when you one of the differences between team pages and individual pages is the individual page will go to all uh, games of the current season, where your, um, where your uh, team page will go to the last 10 games. You can modify that just like Ed showed you. Uh, in, in any kind of version you want to be able to look at it. For me, I, I usually just use this page right here. Um, if I'm going to go all games of current season, I just want all the access. Obviously, the less amount of games you have, the easier it is to load. So for the purpose of this presentation, I'll just go to the last three games and that will populate here. When you go up against the um, here, you can look. You can look at any of these averages that uh, happen on a full season or individual stuff over the amount of games you've selected. So here we'll go in and we'll, we'll watch. I can click right on this number here, and it's going to populate a another tab at the top of your uh, computer screen here. And this is going to show me. I'll have to get the audio off the three assists that uh, Perunovic. Uh, had in the game obviously that was a nice uh, seam pass and these will just concurrently play and uh, so they'll hey, go back to back <clears throat> and you can watch them uh in succession matt sorry to interrupt um is your youtube muted probably not all right Getting i'm just out. gonna get out of my youtube okay no problem yeah i'll follow along on youtube so yeah yep. the uh let me get out of that no problem the, uh, so as you're playing here, and the, one of the unique things is, uh, you know, rewind, fast forward. Hey, I just missed that assist when I'm watching a player. You just click back anywhere on this uh, this kind of timeline bar, and you can rewatch that pass and, and, and follow along the play. So once I've gone through and I've watched, okay, I've I'm watched his assist here. I want to go back, and now I want to get a little bit more in depth. So... I just cancel out of this page. I go back to his page. I really want to see in this his um, his time on ice. I want to see what type of uh, impact he can make. So again, there's a lot of different ways you can populate this screen. This uh, is uh, commonly used through video summaries. Uh, you can, like Ed showed you, you can use that. Or you've got this cool feature over here where you can reset your filters yep. um, in any way you want to. So if I go back to game summaries, you can go in here and this will, uh, there's a little spinning wheel here you see on the uh, kind of on the right side. Yep. 
settings wheel. Yeah, and this is going to bring in. Uh, this is going to bring up your entire library of events that have been logged by Instat for you. So you can see for me right now, I've got time on ice number of shifts, goals, scoring chances, uh, all the way through to power play time, Corsi, face offs. If you're scouting a centerman, you just want to see how he is in the face off circle. So a lot of good opportunities. You can change the in time seconds before the clip and seconds out to create longer clips uh as you view and then you save it and this will automatically populate so for me i'm going to go over to um to time on ice here and what we want to be able to do is we want to get to know this player we want to be able to watch him in his good moments and his bad moments the in-between time uh you know as much as you want to get into uh in depth with with that uh with that information so again we've we've Watching the assist kind of tells you who the player is. So a lot of times if you're given a player's name and you don't know much about the player, uh, especially from seeing them on video outside of hearing about the player, uh, whatever level you're at, uh, watching goals, assist points, you're going to really get to understand the player. Okay, he's a left shot. He's number seven. I know who he is. And so when you're watching the video, uh, now you have a better understanding of who you're looking for. These shifts all include him. Obviously, for them, they're playing in white right now, and he's not in the picture. But I get the opportunity here to watch him just using space, anticipating plays, and not just when he has the puck on his stick in uh, some more specific roles. This is a um, obviously a one-timer from the, from the point, and there's a penalty on the play. So good opportunity to root through a lot of information. One of the cool features that, that I find in the um, – in the in the uh, system and i think it's probably for me from a user uh, standpoint probably the most critical and what what that is is using this this opportunity for this uh, drop down black box right here this is where you're going to create folders and you're going to create all your opportunity to organize the information that you're trying to put into into place so um for me right now, let's just say I want to look at, uh, I'm recruiting defensemen and I'm trying to scout a defenseman. I'm trying to find, find more information on defense. And what I'll do is the big plus sign at the bottom, there's two options, create a playlist or create a folder. Uh, again, very useful when you're organizing information. I'm going to create a folder and I'm just going to label it quickly here for you guys as D-Men. And this will populate at the top of your playlist uh, screen here on the right. So as I do that, now I want to potentially, as I was going on, now I want to create a playlist within that folder. So let's just say I want to put Perunovic's name in here. I'm going to put some stuff together. I have to make sure I spell his name correctly first, but, uh, and then go down to D-Men. So this, that playlist will appear in this folder. Hit create. And when I go up to this, this area, you can see that I have the playlist right in here um, or a playlist with Perunovic in here. So what I can do is now I can take this clip. Oh, I really like that shift. I want to see it and log it to, to kind of maybe compare a player. I can drag this in and deposit it and it will go into that playlist. Another really cool fe feature when you are within an organization is the ability to share. So one of the things you can do up here is uh, share a playlist. This pop, this auto populates, you can add groups in, people in, you can put anybody in. So if I wanna send that clip to Ed, I go in, I, I write in Perunovic, add a comment, I can put on timer, send this, automatically goes to Ed and he can watch it. The other thing you can do is share information without people that have access to Instat and um, in terms of an, an actual operating account. And this gives you the opportunity to general managers, um, goalie coaches, anybody in your organization or outside your organization that you want an opinion on, you can share that playlist. Yep, and when you share the playlist, they uh, if they don't have an Instat account, They'll be able to view that video up to five times. After that, you can send it to them again if you want. So, yes, uh, and so as you're sharing that, the other thing the um, that inset is it's a web-based program. 
So in order to operate, you need an internet connection. Let's say you're going to the cottage for the weekend and you want some work to do while you're up there and you don't have internet uh, or access to a, a Wi-Fi connection. You can download all these episodes. So I can sit here and download all these shifts from Perunovich and this is into one file or several files. Um, I'll do it into one file here. And what it's gonna do is you'll see kind of down here on the left-hand side at the bottom of the screen is that that's processing that. And that's gonna save this into a hard file on my computer. Now I can go in and I can watch uh, all those shifts from Perunovich. So a lot of effective uh, opportunity to look at different things, different way you want to, again, if you're looking at the last three games, you can go over shot chart. You can get through his last three shots over here. And again, this is going to populate another playlist. So a lot of different ways to get at the information you're searching for, but a very effective tool in getting to understand a player that, A, you're recruiting, you're looking to sign, uh, you're scouting, or more importantly, you just want to follow. Um, so a lot of good opportunity here to find uh, different avenues to get the information you're, you're searching for through the use of Instat. Any questions there, Ed? I, I'm, I'd open it up to some questions if uh, uh, people No have questions at the moment. Olivier Legault, I believe, is a, a friend of yours asking you to make sure you share all the players you're going after. So Yeah, not a chance, Olivier. <laughs> uh, good luck on that one. But yeah. uh, the, uh, you can go after Perunovic. You just got to call St. Louis. Yeah. <laughs> the... Uh, all right, so if there's no questions, we can always go back and revisit that. That's one of the great things about Instat is the, the, the user friendliness. I, I'd like to say that I've used computers a lot and that I'm good at it, but I think I'm at about an at below average to below average guy. And it just shows you how unique and opportunistic this type of a system is to be able to find different avenues and ways to get to information. The next area that I'm going to um, cover is player development. And uh, for a lot of us, we really get into this situation where we we feel we need uh, we need to really connect with our players, and we really need to uh, have the opportunity to help and aid in player development through them seeing each other. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my uh, my team page here, uh, Cincinnati Cyclones. I click on that. My team page is going to come up, and again, this is going to populate to your last ten games. So. If we're going into a situation where I really want to go in and I want to see the last 10 games, I can go to skaters, the different five tabs up here, video summary, skaters, goalies, basic lines. This is going to give you all that information over these last 10 games. So if I go down to uh, Justin Vive, who's a veteran player in our time for any Leaf fans that might be on here, the son of the legendary Rick Vive. Uh, three-time 50 goal score for the Leafs. Um, he's a, uh, so Justin for us, a veteran player. Uh, this will, when I go to that player page, again, this is going to go to all the games of the current season. Again, I can modify how I want uh, by deselecting or just choosing three, five, ten. Um, go to stat line and show you all the playlists that you can create in, in these areas. And the, the biggest thing, and I think the most helpful tool from a player development standpoint is watching the sh player shifts. Now, the coolest thing about Instat, in my opinion, is I've done zero work at this point to get to this stage uh, in terms of video, video, um, video time on video work. So this gets sent to you the morning after a game. So you, you got the opportunity in the morning. It also gets sent to any player that's on your team. So Justin Vibe is going to get this information emailed to him. So he can go in and watch his own shifts, his scoring chances, his goals, uh, a penalty he took. Hey, was that a penalty? Uh, there's a lot of different opportunities. He can view his Corsi numbers. Um, it's going to give you a lot of information that uh, goes into it. But for me, this is a, a player that I want to sit down with and, and watch some shifts with that player that morning when he comes in. I click on shifts from the last game. Uh, the unique thing about this game for all, for all of us watching, this was the, the last game played in the ECHL. 
in Toledo that normally has a great crowd and you can see there isn't a uh, fan in the in the building. This was when this whole uh, pandemic uh, kind of started and Ohio uh, banned um, a large gathering. So this was our last game. So here's Justin, number 46, uh, an opportunity. We can sit down and we can just root through his shifts. So we can watch each one we want to. I'll take off the volume so you guys don't have to listen uh, to that and get an opportunity to kind of watch the game with him. Sometimes this is a useful tool tool in player development, watching everything. Sometimes you don't have as much time, or more importantly, you want to have multiple meetings uh, with the player. Cool thing about this is if you go back over here to this little bl uh, black drop-down menu with your playlist, you can see here I've created a Vive folder, and in it, I've created a teaching clip. You can label this how you want. A lot of times the way I, I will do it, if I open up my uh, Toledo one, is here's my power play pre-scout, and these will, and I go by date. So now when I want to go back and find information, you can see the 17 clips that I had from a power play pre-scout, or the one clip that I had from a power play pre-scout. Uh, this is obviously back-to-back -back games. You can see not a lot changing. Um, maybe I had one clip they played a game in between uh, on the 30th, uh, and that I wanted to show the team, but I used most of the... Uh, the information from our last game. So you got a, a lot of opportunity to organize this in any fashion you want. I just labeled this for the purpose of the presentation, teach. So what I've done here is I've gone through games and you can see there's four clips in here. So if I click on this playlist, again, it's gonna populate another window. And you'll see what happens in this um, area. I'm gonna get rid of the uh, volume again is I've put some graphics in here. So now if you go on the right hand side, there's four clips in here like we talked about. This little yellow um, square here indicates that there's edits that you have put on to a clip. There's edits that I've put onto this clip. I go down to the next clip. I just scroll over. There's nothing and there's nothing on the fourth clip. So for me, I just picked a few things that I had, sh I had shared with Justin uh, through, through the year. This is F3 Decisions. Here's an, some editing tools, and we'll get into that in a second. This highlights him and the clip. And if I play the clip for you, we're, uh, we're talking about decisions. So right here, that's a built-in pause. The other thing you can do is create the length of your pause, shorten it. I just paused it as the clip is playing because I want to talk about this with the player. This is a, committal, a committed play by him with our, our defenseman who's down the wall here was pinching on this play. So the talk here is, hey, we can't be that committal as an F3 coming back. We can be active with our stick, but we can't go body. We shouldn't be finishing checks in this area. In my system, uh, other people have different views on that because you can clearly see there's a two-on-one that's going to be created here because this puck got past him by a defenseman beating our third player up the ice. So if we watch this, this turns into a two-on-one uh, clip. And we won't talk about all the other average slide, but a heck of a save by our goaltender and a great back check by everybody else. So this will automatically play into the next clip. So again, this chip, uh, this puck was chipped in by Justin Vive, right? So you see, we have an F1, we have an F2 coming into pressure the puck. In this scenario, what I want to talk about, this is lateral movement as an F3, our defenseman is obviously sitting down on their winger option on the wall. Justin's coming in. He's got to create his vision like a defenseman. So he's got to be able to see things that are in behind him here. And this is when I'll be in the, in the office talking with him about this clip. And because this is going to turn into another two on one. And when you get into, you get a lot of cool editing tools and obviously he has a great back check, a nice little uh, pass in there and a, and a solid collision. So here's a third clip that uh, we'll talk about. Now I'm gonna talk about how we're um, gonna edit these clips to be able to show your player. So I've watched this clip. I, I don't like this decision that he made again, or it's a teachable moment. So I'm gonna go back to the beginning of it and what I can do in this um, in this situation here is 
I've got all these options. I can change the length of the clip by changing borders. Easy, I just pull in, I can pull it out. And that's going to be manipulated in your um, in your taskbar on the right. I can add a picture and put in my uh, my graphic. So let's say I want to put in a text box. I've got the ability to change the size of the font. Uh, I uh, I got an ability to change colors and and background. I'm going to keep it simple. And what I want to do here is just write uh, covering for D. simple goes in there that's in there so that's going to be at the start of this clip i can play this again i can manipulate how the length of that um pause to how i want it to be i might play this clip now we'll run through that five second pause or four second uh pause and talk about when i get to the next thing okay so here he's elected to cover on uh, justin if you want the player to be able to see who who he is in the situation I can circle him. So, hey, this is this is you right here, big fella. So I get that opportunity to circle him and give him an opportunity to uh, to to see where he is in this clip. Sometimes video you're going through it pretty quick, and a player's trying to keep up. Usually they know what they look like though, um, and you get through this opportunity. But the big point of this clip is. He gets a shot out of this clip. I want him to have an opportunity to see his decision making off this rebound. So for me, because a defenseman's been involved in the offensive zone and he covered for him, he's got to continue that uh, that uh, coverage. And he's basically a defenseman now uh, in terms of positionally. A uh, couple cool little things you can do here. I, you can change your color in terms of how you want it to be. You can go, you can grab, go right around his feet, highlight his feet. You can change that to a cylinder and it really puts a little bit more emphasis on the player. Um, you can talk about movement. If I want him to be of this player, I can use that arrow to cre create that. And a lot of times what we'll do it before our team meetings is we will stop, pause, and slow down and show all these different uh, elements where we want to be teaching uh, our team and we, and we want our players to be a little bit more aware of the situation we're talking about and not just rambling, rambling through it. So as I play through that pause, it's going to show the mistake or more importantly, the two-on-one. We've got four guys committed low, creates a two-on-one, and then you've got the opportunity to talk about you know, a good back check Although he puts his hand up like he didn't do anything, he he does get a penalty on that play. The players uh, never do anything right. <laughs> yeah, players never do never anything. do anything uh, wrong. <laughs> important. So you've created all these pauses. If you want to go in here and you know what, I don't like that circle. I want to take that circle out. You can easily just delete that from your thing. Sometimes you got to go in here too, and you got to um, you're going to have to get rid of that pause because the pause will show up in your video. But more importantly, you're going to save that. So when I get up here, now you can see that I have edits. Remember I told you I had the edits in the first one, edits in the second, edits in the third. The other thing you can do here, if you, if you can read my writing here, you've got F3 tracking. That was the first clip, F3 lateral movement. I can go in here and change this by right-clicking, going past the number, and I can say F3 coverage spelling mistakes f3 coverage enter now that's a labeled clip i know where it is now i can stack similar clips on top of each other so we know what know what they are probably the most important thing in player development is what we do next so we're through that clip so what do we have next for well we got to make sure that we show them a goal because i just showed you guys uh justin by being a bad f3 he is not a bad player uh, but these are teachable moments throughout the year and or trends that you try to help uh, create for, for players. For me, uh, we're going to throw in a little power play goal, uh, his last goal and our last goal of the season. Nice movement on the power play. And um, the big fella gets a goal uh, in his office in front of the net. So um, more important, most importantly, I'm making sure he's leaving this meeting with a good feeling. 
he feels good about himself. I just ripped him for three clips. Uh, hey, big fella, nice goal. You know, on your way. Let's uh, let's be ready to go tonight. And uh, the funny thing about this is the players are really going to enjoy this feedback that you're going to give them. Uh, I think that's probably priority number one is that they want to get better. They're all looking to get better. One of the things that I think separates a lot of this stuff is the ability to share this information. So we do a lot of work as coaches in terms of creating video. We don't always have the opportunity in hours and minutes in the day to share this information with the players. Life gets in the way, team stuff gets in the way. So I might have created this these clips. Now I don't have an opportunity to uh, show him just because you know a guy gets called up to the American Hockey League. Uh, we've I've got an agent calling me, and it gets into a longer issue. I've got a medical issue with one of the players that I'm talking with my trainer about, and I don't get the opportunity to meet with Justin. So what I normally will do is, again, I'll go into this share a playlist. I'll click on Vive, type in the whatever I want to type in, hit send, and this automatically goes to him. And uh, the uh, the opportunity for, for him to be able to see this, this uh, clip when he uh, – sorry, I'm trying to get out of this thing. I'll just send it. I'll send it to Ed. Uh, it will send it to him. Now he'll see it. When we come in, a lot of these times, depending on what level you're working at, this player is going to say, yeah, yeah, I, I got that. I got to middle on that. Or, yeah, I should have realized I was the guy covering for the D as he scissored down on that play. I, I got to make sure I, uh, I, I cover for him. And the players are going to do a lot of their own teaching. Uh, so a good opportunity to share information, share it with an assistant coach, share it with the general manager, uh, whoever you want to, but more importantly, share it with the player. So uh, I think, I don't know if there's been any questions on it, but uh, a lot of good tools here to be able to get your point across and help your players get better. Yep, and not, not any questions on this specifically, but uh, we did have a question earlier from Alex Bezerra. Uh, are there limitations to the players available on this platform? CHL, CJHL, European we do have coverage across a number of a number of leagues um, around the world, both North America and Europe, um, and the access to the platform to certain teams and leagues is all dependent on what you want. So we can discuss that, obviously. So um, yeah, it's tailored to what you want, and we want to make sure that you know you're happy with the platform and you're getting the most use out of the platform. So that's definitely something we can we can discuss um, with all of our clients. Uh, going back to Matt, the, uh, uh, there was something I wanted to mention. So, so the players are getting from a player development perspective, the players, each coach or each user of the account has the ability to invite players to the system so that they have their own access, um, to their player page, the, and yep, if you, so Matt's scrolling over to the invite player box, when you hit invite player, you can actually just start typing in the, the last name of a player on your team and the email. You don't have to send a message, but once you hit that invite button at the bottom, they'll, the player will receive an activation email with their username and password to access Instat. They'll have limited access to Instat. Um, the other thing that's good about that is as soon as they receive their access, the very next game that they play in, they'll start receiving their individual player reports after the game. Um, so there's a number of different ways that players are getting information, both after the game and through the coaching, um, as Matt described with the video editing tool that we have. So yeah, there's there's a, it's a very intuitive and, and helpful tool for player development in a number of different ways. And we, uh, we're making sure that we're, we're developing our platform in the sense that it's a communication tool as well. So yeah. Um, Matt, anything else at the moment? Or? Well, there isn't a question. I think one of the other things we can we can talk about just because Olivier's on the on the call. I'll go to Fort Wayne here. Um, and uh, one of the things you can also do as a, as an opportunity is you can go in and I, I've always been a coach that likes to watch the full game. And uh, you know, the after the game, the next day, I'll go through and I'll usually watch this uh, this first this first game uh the, the first period all all over the opportunity here 
to create your own information. So if you're that type of guy that I really want to see one specific thing and um, we want to talk about angles. So let's say I wanted to take this clip right here from the beginning and I want to save and I want to talk about an angle here. You can hit save episode and this is going to start to calc uh, categorize a, a new episode that's really your own. And we obviously have a big hit on that play. That becomes a savable clip for me. I can put it anywhere I want. Uh, I have an individual folder that has every, uh, every player uh, in on my team each season and i can just drag that that is a hit by mason mitchell i can drag that in into his folder and that's a good clip i wanted to show him about his angle and uh, how he's able to close on that you hit save episode and it just goes again at the bottom and it just goes back to the original uh clip you'll see that it, on the right here it's created a new episode so you've got the ability to be as creative and as more detailed as you want to be within any clip in the entire system. Exactly. And as, a, as a, you're going through this, if you notice the Cincinnati Cyclones are running their 50-50 raffle, if you want to contribute to the 50-50, email me personally and I'll send you my Venmo or PayPal. So... <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so a um, couple of other video editing tools, uh, video editing things. Sorry, Matt. If you yeah, can, I'll go back to it. Yeah, any page you want or any video you want. <clears throat> so if we're watching the full game, um, we saw change borders down at the bottom just to change the length. And I'll just uh, go over it real quick. Yep, so change borders uh, just changes the length of the video. So you don't want to do this with a full game, but if you're watching a clip, for instance, of, you know, maybe a goal and you say to yourself, well, this video was only eight seconds long. How can I see more of the action before the, the goal occurred? You can actually change it. So as Matt just showed, just showed the uh, left side of the blue bar extends the beginning of the video and the right side extends or minimizes the end of the video. So you can change that as well. Tagging players is very helpful. Um, for in the instance that you want to mention specific things to players and you just want to keep an account of uh of the of these certain instances so things that you that we don't track so if you want to tag a player for cer certain things like awareness obviously there's no statistic for awareness um but that's always one that i use as my go-to so um you know could be helpful for scouting for coaching if you hit that plus button there you can create a tag give it a name so if you type in awareness you can also set the type, so neutral, negative, or positive feedback. You're, you're, you seem like a negative guy. At all. <laughs> <laughs> I only want to point out when someone's not aware. Um, and then you can also set a hotkey. You don't have to, but you can set a hotkey as well. So if you're watching a game, for instance, and you type A on your keyboard for awareness, you can do it again if you I'll, want. I'll just do hit yep, and hit. do uh, hotkey will be H or something, yep. Do positive. You can set the duration of the video if you want. You don't have to change that if you don't want to. Once you hit add, sorry, it's not letting me. That's do right. it. <laughs> no problem. So your tags will show up there. So if you X out of the tag screen, so as you're watching the game, and you hit the hotkey that you set, which mine didn't set. So you didn't set it. No, <laughs> uh, it didn't. It didn't set. Sorry. All right. No problem. So yeah, so basically like for awareness or for a hit. So if I set my hotkey to A for awareness, if I'm watching the game and I hit A on my keyboard, the video would pause and you'd, you'd be able to select all the players that are on the ice. So our system already reads who's on the ice, all, both for the, your team and the opponents. And you'd be able to select that player. That way you can, you can reference um, the tag and what you wanted to mention to that player in a video session as well. So that's another thing. Um, and to get to your tags and playlists, Matt, if you can scroll up to the top right of the screen to your profile button. Yep. So you can view all your tags and playlists from these uh, from this menu here. So that way, if you Matt, if you want, if you want to just hit on uh, my tags. Yeah, hold on. I you, won't, you probably won't have any, but. Yeah, I've cleaned. I wiped out my system. That's all right. So, yeah, any player that you've tagged, you'd be able to view all the tags here and you'd be able to sort the. Um, this whole list by the type of tag. So, you know, power play awareness, 
um, hit whatever you whatever tag you name it, or you could sort it by player just to help you stay a little more organized as as the goal is during your video sessions. You can also, Matt, if you go to my playlists. On my playlist, you can uh, organize your folders and playlists here. You can share and delete folders. So if I want to delete, like if I want to delete that demon one that I did, it will just delete that completely. The other cool exactly. thing is, it shows you there's access. It will show you users and who's how many people have looked at these clips. So when you send them to your your team, you know when they've watched that clip or they haven't watched a clip. Yep. So. So all very good for, for communication within your organization, within your team. So let me see, is there any other questions? No other questions at the moment. Matt, um, do you have anything else or anything you want to mention from a scouting or player development side? No, I, I, again, I, I think the, uh, I'll, I'll leave more of that information for people that are interested in kind of getting the next uh, step to go to you. But I think the one thing that this, this does and this is my kind of personal feeling is it changes your day uh compared to comparative to some other video systems uh where a lot of times we have late nights as a coach you play on a friday night you're up till two in the morning in the office cutting video finding you know creating shifts uh getting a playlist together and organizing all this information instat does that for you so you can enjoy a cold beverage get home, get to bed, wake up early in the morning One or two, and right? <laughs> your, your instat information is in your email and then you can get to work. So as a result, I've changed my kind of pregame and pre uh, day of a game uh, situation, but it also allows me to not have to stress through the night and wear myself out. So I, I find I've got a lot more energy to put into quality time uh, with my team the next day. And they, the great thing is, like I said, you, you click on your team, all this information comes up to you. I can find it any way I want to find it. Okay, I'm, I'm looking at my power play in the next morning, my team before my team gets in. I want to go through the video summaries here. Uh, sorry, I'm waiting for it to load still. It's all right, no problem. The uh, And all I want to do is I want to go down and, and watch my uh, my team's power play. I go in here, I can figure out exactly, okay, I just, I want all, um, all my power play stuff. And I don't know why it's not loading. Might be the internet. It also, yeah. you know, but it anyways, is a ton so of videos. Play this, so, yeah. We'll play in this button here. I can open this playlist and this is going to immediately bring me to my power place. The other way you can do it is your settings wheel on the uh the top side so you're, you're back in your in your game and you want to see my last 10 games of all my uh, all the power plays all i can do is i can i can deselect these elements to get them out of the way and just go down and say okay i just want to see my my special teams i sort that and that's going to come up right now with all your power play time so I can go on here and, and click on these these two clips and this is going to right away it's going to come up and it's going to create a new playlist with just the power plays in, in those two games and i now i get the opportunity to watch my team uh perform in this area i can i can scout it i can shrink clips i can change clips do whatever i have if i have a question i can go down to my green instat technical support and say something's not working here and within a few minutes you usually have an answer back if not immediate so it's uh really good for the people that are have a little bit of trouble with computer work uh, they can walk you through a lot of uh, things that you need to have but a good opportunity for me to create my little power play pre-scout or a post-game review of my power play and i put three four things together in a meeting and i'm ready to go when the players get in that day to have our meeting so a lot of uh, a lot of good use to exactly how I did it. You can find and create your own avenue to get there because there's multiple platforms uh, to get to the information you're looking for. Yeah, exactly. So um, we'll give it a couple minutes here for for questions. Uh, we haven't had any at the moment, but if anybody has any questions after this webinar is complete, feel free to reach out to Instat. Um, and they'll assign you to an account manager, either in your area or based on the team you work for. So 
uh, we'll be able to help you out, you know, no matter, no matter what you, what you need and what you're looking for within stats. So um, Matt, if there's nothing else, I guess uh, that's pretty much it. 50 minutes. So we made good time here. All right. Uh, ho hopefully it was helpful for people and uh, people get an understanding of the, the different areas you can use it uh, for obviously scouting players, developing your own team. And there's a whole other element of pre-scouting opponents, post-game breakdown. Uh, there's just a lot of uses and there's very little pre-work that uh, you as a coach has to do. Uh, and it's all about the information coming to you and then you figuring out what information is important for your team. But I, I appreciate you having me on it. No problem, Matt. Thank you very much for joining us. Hope you and your family are safe and healthy. Same with everybody out there listening and joining in. Um, you know, good luck. Stay healthy. Uh, I'm sure we'll all get through this very soon and uh, we'll return, turn back to normal and, uh, you know, have sports back in our life sometime soon. So, uh, Matt, thank you very much. If there's no more questions, thank you, everybody. Have a good one. Feel free to check out the Instat Sport uh, YouTube page for all of our videos, not just with hockey, but if you're interested in soccer or basketball as well, feel free to do that. We have a few videos up there. So, all right. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a good day. Feel free to ask us any questions. Have a good one. Bye. Thanks.